My name's John McKenzie. Welcome to my farm at Dingwall. My business, as a flying farmer, produces green electricity from wind, hydro and solar and exports that into the local grid to offset my flying helicopters in Scotland 100%. After two and a half years of successful production, I can say that I'm now carbon neutral. Flying in Scotland is a must and producing green electricity from the elements is a great way to offset your carbon emissions. Please come and have a look around my farm now and I'll show you the systems. The farm at Dingwall is south facing. You can see as well as producing green electricity from wind and hydro, the farm also produces green electricity from solar PV on the south facing cattle shed roof. Come on in. Come on in. As well as hydro and solar, green electricity, I produce green electricity from wind. This is my Gaia wind turbine, which is built in Scotland, 11 kilowatts. You can see it has a large swept blade diameter, which is good for catching the wind. Producing green electricity on the farm at Dingwall for export locally, for everyone to benefit, and also for the electric car at the farm. You can also see Local businesses have also diversified and have wind turbines now. The Auction Mart has its own wind turbine and locally a co-op is the first wind turbine in Scotland to be owned by a co-op. This is the farm hydroelectric scheme at Dingwall. 12 kilowatts, grid connected. This is the dam where the water is captured before it flows down a penstock pipe to the hydro turbine shed where the electricity is made and exported to the local grid. Further downstream, we have an off-grid hydro scheme, very small, called a Pyco hydro system. It's a Pelton wheel again, off-grid, providing 350 watts of off-grid electricity via battery storage for the hydro hens on the farm. That provides light and electricity for the hen shed for egg production. So here we are at the hydro turbine house. You've seen the dam where the water is collected. This is where the green electricity is actually made. Under pressure, the water flows down the penstock pipe, drives a Pelton wheel, which was made in Peru by Tepersac, drives a 12 kilowatt grid-connected generator that makes the green electricity and exports it into the local grid network. As a grid-connected machine, all the safety mechanisms are in place that a grid-connected supply requires. All the farm's electricity that's produced has to go through a safety system before it's allowed to be exported into the local grid. The hydro produces its electricity from the turbine and is exported here. The solar arrives from the cattle shed roof and arrives here. And the wind arrives here. It's all metered, combined and exported via this safety system here, which is monitored by the local grid. The green electricity is then also available for charging the electric car, which is situated here also. This is my electric vehicle, which charges from my farm's green electricity production. It takes four hours to charge from empty, and it's as simple as plugging it in, and then leaving it and coming back, and then it will do nearly 50 miles on green electricity. As part of the Green Homes Network, I went round various different houses to learn which system they'd installed before designing the heating system and power system for this house here. Biomass, 35 kilowatt log system has been designed into this house here. It will also be heated by solar thermal and solar gain because it's south facing. This home is being split temporarily to allow the family to grow into it from a start and has been called wind, hydro and solar after the existing on-farm systems. 